In this video, we got a gameplay on the new Dark Matter, Jermaine O'Neal in NBA 2K23. My team is going to be a 99 overall power forward and small forward, which is really nice for Jermaine O'Neal because he's six foot 11. So having this card, being able to play the small forward position is going to be super helpful because looking at his stats, he's going to be really well-rounded. 88 three ball, 94 mid range, 95 standing dunk, 90 driving dunk. His defense is going to be really solid across the board. 92 block, 88 steal, 88 perimeter. 95 interior defense and then he's also got pretty good athleticism stats with 90 in the speed category 95 vertical 92 strength and a 90 lateral quickness you take a look at his badges he does have 35 on hall of fame including acrobat aerial wizard back down punisher bully drop stepper fast switch feels finisher giant slayer limitless takeoff masher which is going to be super helpful post riser rise up slithery catch and shoot claymore corner specialist ankle breaker clamp breaker handles for days hyper drive killer combos quick first step unpluckable anchor chase on artist clamps interceptor post lockdown box up beast rebound chaser and brick wall as well so really good hall of fame badges for jermaine o'neal i will say though the one big flaw about this card is going to to be his jump shot because i've tested out his release and if you guys remember from his pink diamond this card's jump shot is absolutely terrible that is such a bad release man like that is going to be super hard to time really really wonky i feel like it's it's really slow that's the worst thing about it but that, i also feel like it's you know kind of hard to time as well i mean if you can somewhat get the release down consistently the card will be a lot better but the nice thing about him is actually these dribble six he's got this steve francis size up and the tray escape like look how this card's moving man you got a six foot eleven small forward moving like a garden game and i would say that's probably the best thing about this card is the fact that he's six foot eleven at small forward that's the best thing but the next best thing is probably these dribble six able to move at a really high level create a lot of space and should be good at getting downhill and finishing at the rim should be one of well, uh, should be one of his strong shoots strong suits at the small four position but now let's go green number three and let's get on to the dark matter jermaine o'neal gameplay into the clutch time online game here with the dark matter jermaine o'neal we're looking to find him here rolling to the basket on that first possession and jermaine o'neal almost getting that and one to go that's what he's going to be amazing at is getting to the basket and finishing whether he's drawing contact getting and ones getting free throws finishing at the rim with layups or dunks this card's going to be amazing at going to the rim being a six foot eleven small forward we're matching up against dark matter carmelo it's the free one you got from that locker code so we're going to have a huge height, uh, height advantage at the small four position and also also, the nice thing about this card is he can bring some great versatility to the small four position because he's super tall he can actually guard a lot of you know power forwards in the game as well also due to his player model we're looking to find him here with some space trying to go all the way to the basket can't get that to go but lebron on them rebounds trying to take it back out here got to get him back in the pick and roll looking to send him on a little bit of a slip finding jermaine o'neal in and behind carmelo and able to finish at the rim once again I think this card's actually going to be really nice. He's only about 15,000 MT on the auction house too. So, I mean, you get great value for Jermaine O'Neal if he's going to stay around that price. Like we're talking 15,000 MT for a six foot 11 small forward, a guy that's got some of the best dribble sigs in the game. I mean, that's going to be super elite with Jermaine O'Neal. Trying to find him in and behind Carmelo once again. And we're going to get super lucky to get that dunk slash layup to go. I'm not even sure what that was. But yeah, we're going to get super lucky there. He blocked us with... I think it was Brooke Lopez. He did get a block, but he actually knocked it in. As we're looking to play some good defense here on Brooke Lopez and Ricky Davis. Trying to watch that pass inside. Great defense from Jermaine O'Neal. Able to get his first steal on the ball game. I want to give him the ball in his hands and see what these dribble sigs do look like. Because this card, man, he can actually move so nicely at the small four position. Able to get to the rack with ease. I'm not going to lie. I think this card's going to be amazing, especially for only 15K. You get such an elite level small forward on defense, able to drive to the basket like this card. I'm not going to lie. I think it's going to be super underrated, but that's the one thing about this card. I wanted to shoot a three just to see what his jump shot looks like in game. But I think if you're using this card normally, you don't really want to be taking any threes at all with this Jermaine O'Neal card. I think you just want to be taking them to the rim, you know, either finishing at the basket. You don't have to score with this card every single possession for him to be super valuable on the court as we're looking to get in inside once again. What was that layup animation? He was trying to go for the dunk and got taken out of the dunk any, but we're trying to get back here in transition. Got to watch that pass inside LeBron trying to play help defense but low-key gonna get dunked on there but I think that was Ricky Davis I'm not even 100% sure but let's get the ball back into the hands of Jermaine O'Neal looking to go around that screen trying to find him on the inside can we push Brooke Lopez out the way and that's a center card we just completely push out of the way for that wide open standing dunk I actually really like this Jermaine O'Neal card 
Oh my God, LeBron just got absolutely snapped. LeBron's ankle just got completely taken there on the defensive end. We got to get that get back. I'm not going to lie with LeBron. We got to get that get back. LeBron going to the basket. I'm sorry, guys. I had to get that get back there for LeBron. But yeah, Jermaine O'Neal, you guys can let me know in the comment section down below. What do you guys think about this card? But I was expecting him to low-key be, you know, 50 plus thousand MT because of how good I think he's going to be at small forward. But I was really shocked to find out he's under 20,000 MT. Like he's literally considered a budget card. And I think he's actually going to be definitely worth his price tag, especially if you're looking for a taller small forward. Is I was trying to pump fake, and I guess we went up with the layup for no reason there. But we're trying to get back here in transition. Got to watch that pass inside ricky davis in the right side corner and now we're actually gonna be down by two points we've been leading the entire game and now we actually trail we got to get jermaine o'neal the ball in his hands whether it's in the pick and roll or just let him cook in kind of the iso trying to find him here with some space jermaine o'neal left wide open and we're actually able to knock down a three that jump shot though man it is so slow like i felt like i had to hold that down for like way longer than I was expecting to. And I thought I thought it was actually gonna be a little bit early as he's gonna green another three though with Ricky Davis. He is going absolutely crazy with that card, but we gotta get we, we, we gotta look to get back here in that pick and roll though with Jermaine O'Neal, trying to find him with some space. He does he does feel really quick with the ball in his hands. I'm not gonna lie, that's probably the best thing about this card. How fast he feels with the ball in his hands as we're gonna tie up the ball game there. We got 15 points with Jermaine O'Neal, and he's also playing some really solid defense. That's another great thing about the card is we almost get that steal on Carmelo Anthony but he's gonna make us pay for reaching with that four-pointer shot we got to get back here in that pick and roll though he's just been super dominant in the pick and roll whether it's fading to the three-point line we got a little bit of space Jermaine O'Neal and we can't knock it down yeah, that jump shot, man. It just feels so, so slow. Pretty much unusable. But look at Jermaine trying to fight here down low. Jermaine O'Neal, get him in the air. Trying to go up for the layup. We can't get it to go. Jermaine O'Neal, another rebound. Jermaine trying to finish at the rim. And we can't get any of those layups to go. Probably wasn't the smartest take. You know, I, I kept trying to go up with it. Probably wasn't the smartest idea. But yeah, good defense here from the squad. LeBron trying to fight for them rebounds. Got to get back out here to Sean Livingston. Got to try to win this game, man. He's going to pull up with Livingston. He's going to miss that. And we got to push the ball in transition. Find Jermaine O'Neal running in transition. We got literally no stamina. Can we push him out the way, though? Back out. Oh, no, man. This is not looking good. We got Ralph Sampson with the ball. Ralph Sampson playing guard. Trying to find Jermaine O'Neal with some space at that mid-range. And that was a terrible offensive possession for game, pretty much. We just got completely boxed. But, yeah, I'm not going to lie, guys. I think Jermaine O'Neal is going to be a really solid small forward. I think he's actually going to be, you know, worth that price tag, especially... If you're looking for a tall small forward, like he's six foot eleven at small forward, he's got some of the best dribble sigs with his defense, the size up, the tray escape, and he's really quick at getting to the rim. He had 15 points, two rebounds. Didn't shoot the best, had that one steal though. Didn't really shoot the best though from the three point line or the field. But all around, I think Jermaine O'Neal gonna be a really good budget small forward. But let me know in the comment section down below what you guys think about Jermaine O'Neal, and I'll catch you guys in the next one. Peace.